We're going to head over to Daniel Phillips with the latest on this slow moving storm. Yeah, guys, thanks. As Abby mentioned, now are kind of the final hours to really wrap that preparation up by this afternoon. You want to be done with that by this evening. You want to be in place and ready to go. If you are down along the coastline and you're, you're trying to think, are we going to leave? Are we not going to leave? Those decisions need to be made within the next couple of hours. Once that decision is made, I would urge you to then not change your mind. You do not want to be out on the roadways as this thing is coming on shore. Latest update from the National Hurricane Center. Winds are now up to about 65 miles an hour. The gusts right now up to about 75. So over the last three hours, seen a little bit of intensity. Now the, the pressure has not dropped a whole lot and it, it probably will here over the next 24 hours or so. We will continue to see this thing intensify. I think we end up having hurricane somewhere within the next 24 hours from now and it will make landfall looks increasingly likely as a category one storm. We had kind of talked all morning long about don't get caught up in the icons. Don't get caught up in the in the 70 versus the 75 mile an hour landfall winds. And this is the reason why earlier this morning it was all tropical storms up along. But now you see the category one storm is back and we've been saying all morning to prepare for a landfalling hurricane sometime early tomorrow morning. So this stops at about sunrise tomorrow or a little bit after sunrise. You've got 75 mile an hour winds that will have crossed over Vermilion Bay that will be getting close to the Sippermore Point area. I think it holds on to hurricane strength as it gets up into Iberia Parish and then starts to become a tropical storm as it makes its way through eastern parts of Acadiana and northeastern parts of Acadiana. But that is just the beginning. The biggest thing with this system is going to be the rainfall. That's what we've been spending most of our time talking about here over the last 24 48 hours and that continues to be the single biggest issue that we will have with this storm. Yes, we'll have wind damage. Yes, widespread coastal flooding with some storm surge, but the inland flooding I think is what this storm is going to ultimately end up being remembered for. No real updates to the watches and warnings not here locally anyway. The biggest update coming in at 10 o'clock is along Lake Pontchartrain and then from Shell Beach out over towards Biloxi. They have put storm surge warnings up over there. The waters are coming up out over towards Biloxi. Saw some video there earlier on today. Otherwise, the warnings have not changed for Acadiana. We continue to be under a tropical storm warning along the I-10 corridor. This is going to include I-55 along the North Shore, Lake Pontchartrain, New Orleans metro area, Baton Rouge metro, Lafayette up the I-49 corridor into Alexandria as far west as Jefferson Davis and Cameron Parish. You have hurricane warnings that are in effect from Vermilion Parish eastwards through Iberia, St. Mary on into Assumption, Terrebonne, Plaquemines Parish as well. They will start to see hurricane type conditions within the next 24 hours. Again, that is expected to continue to work its way up Vermilion Bay and eventually on into Acadiana. Here's a look at the model. We based a lot of our we based a lot of our decision making off of the European model. This was the run that came in last night. No real surprises. Looked very very similar to the way it has over the last couple of days. Notice all of this heavy rainfall that is south and east of the center. We've talked about how it's going to be a early morning system that it will make landfall sometime just before sunrise tomorrow. However, this rain is going to hang around for a while. It is a slow moving storm. So after it makes landfall does not mean that the worst of it is going to be over. In fact, it's really just going to be beginning. You're going to see this corridor of heavy rainfall impacting St. Mary Parish that could then include lower St. Martin getting up into eastern Iberia Parish as well. And then Overnight Saturday, even going into Sunday morning, you continue to see some very heavy showers as this low pulls all this moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to see the heavy rains continue into Sunday. And for some areas, Vermilion Parish, Iberia Parish, South Lafayette Parish, you may not see the worst of it until overnight Saturday into Sunday. Again, this is not something that is going to wrap up in a few hours. This is going to take the better part of a day to clear out. You're going to see those showers continue heavy at times all the way through the afternoon. You could even still see downpours as late as about Sunday evening. When it comes to the rain totals, we are looking at somewhere in South Louisiana catching 15 to 20 with hot spots of 25 to 30 inches worth of rainfall. That is a tremendous amount of rain. 
do not get caught up with these numbers. The, the, the numbers that say Lafayette at two and a half, Lake Charles at, at one and a quarter. What I would pay attention to, use those as, guide, uh, as guidelines, but pay attention to the color schemes. Where do you see the heavy bands of rainfall? Right now, it would include Lower St. Martin, it would include, include St. Mary, eastern parts of Iberia, but you still see a six to 12 inch rainfall on eastern and central parts of Acadiana. Looks a little bit better on over towards the west. It's going to be a tight rain gradient. It will it will really be confined to a couple of areas. Even if you are on the edge and you're catching six to 12 inches worth of rainfall, that can still cause quite a lot of flooding. We saw a five inch rain, what, several weeks ago, and that put a lot of stress out on the roadways. So flooding is going to be the biggest issue here. And again, this this whole swath, this whole corridor of heavy rain, the 15 to 20, this can easily migrate to the west or to the east, depending on exactly where that center comes. The margin of error here uh, is, is really, really small, and we fit within that margin of error. We're 20, 50 miles from, or, or 20 to 50 miles from Baton Rouge, depending on where you are. So again, that could easily drift one way or the other. This could even head out over towards New Orleans as well. New Orleans also not out of it as well. So that's what we need to watch for. And those are going to be the things to keep an eye on as we go through the rest of the day today and into tomorrow. The closer we get to landfall, we will start to see where this corridor of rainfall is setting up. So you need to be prepared for that 15 to 20. What does 15 to 20 inches worth of rain mean? Homes and businesses will be flooded. That could prompt evacuations as well as rescues. It could flood roadways. Not only could it flood the roadways, but it could also erode those roads uh, underneath. And then that can create more hidden dangers underneath the water as that could lead to some road collapses as well. And locations that don't normally be flooded can catch on a lot of water. Again, one of the things that we always try and warn about is never base this off of, well, back in such and such year, we did okay. It's all different where that rainfall does start to set up. So again, be very vigilant here over the course of the weekend. Rain is just one part of the equation. The other is the winds that we're going to have to worry about. I would expect power outages across Acadiana, especially down through where it's going to come in as a hurricane. We haven't had a hurricane in a while. We haven't had a tropical storm in a while. There is a lot of vegetation buildup that hasn't really been thinned out from some of these storms. Down power lines, down trees are also going to be possible with a storm like this. Let's stop it at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is just after sunrise. You will have hurricane type conditions out through Assumption Parish creeping on into Morgan City. Tropical storm winds preceding the storm will then be creeping up into central parts of Acadiana as well as eastern parts of Acadiana as well to include St. Mary, Iberia, St. Martin, even creeping into St. Landry. Let's go a few hours further. You can still see hurricane type conditions that will have pushed through the new Iberia area. Hurricane type conditions that will then move on into St. Martin. 50 to 60 mile an hour winds are getting into Lafayette Parish through this time frame. This is in the afternoon and then you will eventually see it kind of wash out to that 35 to 50 mile an hour range. Those are still very, very gusty conditions. Again, this is not going to be over within a day. This is or, or within a few hours. This is going to take the better part of a day before it does finally start to clear up. Finally, with these systems, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the storm surge expecting three to six feet that could probably get as high as about eight feet close to the center. Take the storm surge Add on top of that the waves that then build up. You're going to see widespread flooding down along the coastline, especially on the eastern part of Vermilion Bay. Think about the winds they are wrapping around this way and it's a slow mover. So you're going to see all this water pushed up on the eastern side of the bay. Again, if you're going to get that that eight foot storm surge, it, it's going to be more so over towards this range. Uh, but that does not mean that there's not going to be coastal flooding out through Cameron or Vermilion. Both of those are going to sit at about two to four feet. We do have uh, a timeline here that we're going to go through. Tides going to get two to five feet above normal. Those are going to start coming up this afternoon. Storm surge starts to arrive this evening. That's when the rainfall will start to get here sometime Saturday morning. Down along the coastline, you will see the hurricane type winds starting to pick up by sunrise tomorrow. Down trees, branches power lines and outages as well. Of course, the thing that that has kind of been tossed aside with everything else is going to be the chance for uh, a tornado, a spin up tornado, a little bit of severe weather as well.